The Great Pyramid of Giza is probably the most stunning. How do you think they did that? Scientists find a flying ship under the Great Pyramid, and it's not what you think. Could this discovery rewrite our understanding of ancient Egyptian technology? What secrets did the builders of the Great Pyramid possess that we are only now beginning to uncover? Join us as we dig into this astonishing find and explore the mysteries it holds. Experts in a variety of professions have been enthralled by the recent find of the flying ship beneath the Great Pyramid. Dr. Elena Poag, an expert in ancient Egyptian technology, describes the find as unprecedented and emphasizes its significance. This discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about this period. The ship's advanced design suggests a level of technological sophistication that was previously unimaginable for the ancient Egyptians. The ship, measuring 44 meters long and six meters wide, was constructed primarily of cedar wood. Its most striking feature was its aerodynamic design, suggesting it was intended for flight, not water travel. Unlike traditional ancient Egyptian vessels, which were typically flat bottom for stability on the Nile, this ship had a sleek, streamlined shape. The hull was pointed at both ends, resembling the design of modern aircraft, with curves and angles that would minimize air resistance. The wood was intricately carved with hieroglyphs and symbols, many of which depicted scenes of flight and celestial beings. These carvings added to the mystery and intrigue of the ship. Was this vessel part of a religious or ceremonial practice, or did it serve a practical purpose that we have yet to understand? The craftsmanship was extraordinary, with every joint and seam meticulously fitted together, demonstrating an advanced understanding of aerodynamics and structural integrity. To illustrate the point, Dr. Ahmed Hassan, a renowned Egyptologist, shares a similar sentiment. The presence of this ship under the Great Pyramid opens up a whole new chapter in our understanding of ancient Egyptian civilization. It forces us to reconsider their capabilities and the extent of their knowledge. Historians also weigh in on the implications of this discovery. Dr. Sarah Johnson, a historian specializing in ancient civilizations, notes, the aerodynamic design of the ship and the materials used in its construction suggests that the ancient Egyptians had access to advanced techniques and knowledge. This raises intriguing questions about their interactions with other cultures and their overall technological prowess. Professor Michael Carter, an archaeologist who has studied the Great Pyramid extensively, adds, The discovery of the flying ship beneath the Great Pyramid is a game-changer. It focuses on the complexity of the pyramid's construction and suggests that there are still many secrets hidden within its walls. The Great Pyramid, built over 4,000 years ago, has long been the subject of fascination and speculation. As the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, it has drawn countless archaeologists and historians to its mysterious structure. Standing at a staggering 146 meters tall, it was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. But what makes this pyramid truly extraordinary? Constructed during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom of Egypt, around 2580-2560 BC, the Great Pyramid was built as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. Its precise alignment with the cardinal points and its perfect geometric proportions have baffled experts for centuries. How did the ancient Egyptians achieve such precision with the limited technology available to them at the time? The pyramid is made up of an estimated 2.3 million blocks of limestone and granite, each weighing between 2.5 and 15 tons. The sheer scale of this construction project is mind-boggling. How did they transport these massive stones from the quarries to the construction site? Some theories suggest that a network of ramps and levers was used, but no definitive evidence has been found to support this. A maze-like structure made of a number of small tunnels and rooms inside the pyramid has generated a great deal of discussion and investigation. In the interior of the pyramid, in the king's chamber, is a massive granite sarcophagus that is thought to have contained Pharaoh Khufu's remains. But no mummy was ever discovered, which begs the issue of what the real intention behind this impressive edifice was. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Great Pyramid is its connection to the stars. The pyramid's sides are aligned almost perfectly with the four cardinal points and the shafts within the structure are thought to align with specific stars. 
This has led some to speculate that the pyramid served not just as a tomb, but also as an astronomical observatory or a monument to the gods. Over the years, the Great Pyramid has been the center of numerous theories and myths. Some believe it holds hidden chambers and tunnels that have yet to be discovered. Others suggest it was built with the help of advanced technology, possibly even from extraterrestrial sources. While these theories are often dismissed by mainstream archaeology, they add to the enduring mystery and allure of the pyramid. This intricate history is further enhanced by the finding of the flying ship beneath the Great Pyramid. How could such a sophisticated structure remain hidden for so long? What does this tell us about the ancient Egyptians' capabilities and knowledge? These questions continue to captivate researchers and enthusiasts alike, driving further exploration and study. As we look more into this astonishing find, it's essential to consider the broader context of ancient Egyptian civilization. The Great Pyramid stands as a proof to the ingenuity and ambition of the people who built it. But it also reminds us that there is still much we don't know about this ancient culture. Every new discovery, like the flying ship, brings us closer to understanding the true extent of their achievements. In 2024, a team of archaeologists using ground-penetrating radar made an unexpected find. Beneath the Great Pyramid, they discovered what appeared to be the remnants of a large ancient vessel. This discovery sent shockwaves through the archaeological community, sparking intense curiosity and speculation. What could this vessel be, and how did it end up buried under the pyramid? The initial discovery was made during a routine survey aimed at mapping the subterranean features of the pyramid complex. As the radar images came through, the team noticed an anomaly, a large rectangular shape that stood out from the surrounding rock and sand. Further analysis revealed that this shape was composed of a material distinct from the natural geological formations. Excitement quickly turned to action as the team prepared to excavate this mysterious find. Over the following months, the team carefully excavated the site, revealing a well-preserved wooden structure unlike any other known Egyptian artifact. The excavation process was painstaking, requiring the expertise of archaeologists, engineers, and preservation specialists. Each step was meticulously planned and executed to ensure the integrity of the fragile structure. The first task was to remove the overlying layers of sand and debris. This involved using a combination of hand tools and small machinery to carefully sift through the material, ensuring that no part of the ancient vessel was damaged in the process. As they explored more, the outline of the vessel began to emerge more clearly, revealing its impressive size and intricate design. The team worked in shifts around the clock, driven by the anticipation of what lay beneath. Their meticulous efforts paid off as the ship's structure became more defined with each passing day, heightening the sense of excitement and discovery. As they uncovered more of the vessel, it became clear that this was no ordinary ship. Its design and construction suggested a level of sophistication far beyond what was previously known. The wood was in remarkably good condition, preserved by the dry, stable environment beneath the pyramid. The vessel measured approximately 44 meters long and 6 meters wide, with intricate carvings and symbols adorning its surface. The team documented every detail, taking thousands of photographs and creating detailed sketches and diagrams. They also collected samples of the wood and other materials for further analysis. These samples would later provide crucial information about the age and origin of the vessel. As the excavation progressed, the team encountered several challenges. The fragile state of the wood required careful handling to prevent damage. They also had to contend with the tight, confined spaces within the pyramid complex. But despite these obstacles, their determination and expertise prevailed. As we continue to explore and study this remarkable find, one thing is certain, the Great Pyramid still has many secrets to reveal. Each new discovery adds to our understanding of the past and inspires us to keep searching for answers. What will we find next? Only time will tell. The interior of the ship was equally impressive. There were compartments and chambers that seemed designed for storage and habitation. The layout suggested that the ship could carry passengers or cargo possibly for long journeys. How did the ancient Egyptians conceive of such a sophisticated design? The answer to this question continues to elude experts and fuels speculation about the ship's origins and purpose. 
Indeed, carbon dating was a crucial step in determining the ship's age. Samples of the wood and other organic materials were analyzed, revealing that the ship dates back to the Fourth Dynasty, around the time of Pharaoh Khufu. This aligns with the construction of the Great Pyramid, suggesting a connection between the two. But what was that connection? Was the ship built for the Pharaoh's journey to the afterlife? Or did it serve a different, more mysterious purpose? Further analysis included scanning electron microscopy and X-ray fluorescence, which provided detailed information about the ship's composition. These techniques revealed traces of metals and other materials not commonly found in ancient Egyptian artifacts. Could these elements have played a role in the ship's supposed ability to fly? The presence of these materials raises intriguing possibilities about ancient Egyptian technology and knowledge. The aerodynamic design of the ship was studied using computational fluid dynamics CFD, simulations. These simulations showed that the ship's shape would generate lift, similar to modern aircraft, under the right conditions. This finding supports the theory that the ship was designed for flight. But how did the ancient Egyptians achieve this? Did they have knowledge of principles that we only discovered in modern times? As researchers continue to study the flying ship, new questions arise. What was the ship's intended purpose? How did the ancient Egyptians develop the technology to build such a vessel? The flying ship finding casts doubt on our knowledge of ancient Egyptian technology and creates fresh study opportunities. It suggests that the ancient Egyptians may have had capabilities that we are only beginning to comprehend. As we explore more into this mystery, we are reminded of the great potential for new discoveries that lie hidden beneath the sands of time. There are a ton of hypotheses regarding how the ancient Egyptians could have constructed a flying ship in response to the finding of the flying ship within the Great Pyramid. Some experts believe the ship's design indicates knowledge of aerodynamics far ahead of its time. Could the ancient Egyptians have possessed advanced technology now lost to history? One theory suggests that the ancient Egyptians had a good understanding of natural principles that allowed them to manipulate materials and construct highly advanced structures. The aerodynamic shape of the ship, with its sleek, streamlined form, suggests an intentional design aimed at reducing air resistance and achieving lift. This knowledge, if true, would place the ancient Egyptians among the most advanced civilizations of their time. Another possibility is that the ship was built using a combination of known and unknown materials that enhanced its flight capabilities. The presence of certain metals and compounds in the ship's construction hints at a sophisticated level of metallurgy. Could these materials have been used to create a vessel capable of navigating the skies? If so, what other technological marvels did the ancient Egyptians possess? Some researchers argue that the ship's design reflects an understanding of principles similar to those used in modern aviation. The ship's curved hull and pointed ends are reminiscent of contemporary aircraft designs, which are optimized for aerodynamic efficiency. How did the ancient Egyptians acquire such knowledge? Was it through careful observation and experimentation? Or did they have access to information that has since been lost? One such theory suggests that the ancient Egyptians were visited by beings from another world who shared their advanced knowledge and technology. Proponents of this idea point to the ship's sophisticated design and construction as evidence of extraterrestrial influence. They argue that such a leap in technology would be difficult to achieve without outside assistance. Could the ship be a relic of this otherworldly contact? Another alternative theory posits that the ship was part of a larger network of advanced technologies spread across ancient civilizations. Some researchers believe that there was once a global civilization that possessed incredible knowledge and capabilities. The ship, according to this theory, is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. How does this fit into our understanding of ancient history? Skeptics of the extraterrestrial and global civilization theories argue that these ideas lack concrete evidence and rely too heavily on speculation. They suggest that the ship can be explained through more conventional means, such as the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the ancient Egyptian. But even within this framework, the ship remains a mystery. The flying ship found under the Great Pyramid is full of mysteries. Its purpose remains unknown, as does the method of its construction. Even more puzzling is why it was hidden beneath the Great Pyramid. Theories range from advanced ancient 
technology to alien contact, each adding a layer of intrigue to this fascinating discovery. What other mysteries lie hidden under the sands of Egypt? The story of the flying ship is a reminder that our understanding of history is always evolving, driven by new discoveries and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As we explore these theories and speculations, we move closer to uncovering the truth behind one of history's greatest puzzles. If the ancient Egyptians did indeed create a flying ship, it would drastically alter our perception of their technological capabilities and their understanding of the world. This discovery challenges the conventional narrative of ancient Egyptian history, suggesting that they possessed knowledge and skills far beyond what we previously believed. The implications of this are complex, potentially rewriting entire chapters of history books. The existence of such advanced technology indicates that the ancient Egyptians were not just master builders, but also innovators in fields we never associated with them. If they could design and construct a vessel capable of flight, what other technological marvels might they have? Created. This new understanding could lead to a reevaluation of other artifacts and structures, searching for evidence of similarly advanced techniques. This discovery could shed light on the broader technological landscape of the ancient world. The Egyptians' ability to build a flying ship suggests they had a sophisticated understanding of principles that wouldn't be formally recognized until thousands of years later. This knowledge might have been shared with or influenced by other contemporary civilizations, pointing to a more interconnected ancient world than we previously thought. Could this discovery indicate that other ancient cultures also possessed advanced technologies that have been lost to time? It raises questions about the flow of knowledge and technology across ancient societies. Were there other flying ships or similar technological feats in different parts of the world? The implications stretch far beyond Egypt, offering a tantalizing glimpse into a potentially more advanced and interconnected ancient world. The ship, now dubbed the Solar Barge, not just sheds light on ancient Egyptian ingenuity, but also pinpoints their spiritual and cultural connection to the sun god Ra. The concept of a solar barge is highly embedded in Egyptian mythology, symbolizing the journey of the sun god across the sky. This discovery aligns with these ancient beliefs, suggesting that the ship may have been constructed for a ceremonial or religious purpose. The craftsmanship and design of the ship reflect the Egyptians' reverence for their deities and their understanding of the world. The intricate carvings and symbols adorning the ship are not merely decorative. They tell a story of a civilization very connected to its mythology and religious practices. This vessel, intended to traverse the heavens, symbolizes the Egyptians' desire to bridge the earthly and the divine. The solar barge also underscores the importance of the Great Pyramid as more than just a tomb. Its discovery beneath the pyramid suggests that this monumental structure served multiple purposes, possibly as a gateway between worlds or as a repository of sacred knowledge. The intertwining of the pyramid and the barge enriches our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture revealing layers of significance that go beyond their architectural achievements. This discovery has significant implications for modern Egypt. It focuses on the enduring legacy of the ancient civilization and its contributions to human history. The solar barge, as a symbol of ingenuity and spiritual depth, reinforces Egypt's cultural heritage and its place as a cradle of ancient knowledge and innovation. This newfound artifact has the potential to attract scholars, historians, and tourists eager to learn more about the mysteries of ancient Egypt. It serves as a reminder of the richness of Egypt's past and its continuous influence on contemporary culture and thought. The solar barge is not just an archaeological find. It is a cultural treasure that connects the present to the past, inviting us to explore the depths of human ingenuity and belief. The flying ship under the Great Pyramid is a discovery that challenges our preconceived notions about ancient Egyptian technology and sparks our imagination. This astonishing find suggests that the Egyptians possessed advanced knowledge far beyond what history has recorded. It opens thrilling new avenues for research, compelling experts to rethink long-held assumptions about ancient civilizations. 